No. No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Besides she seizure, I'm also having deja vu. I'm having, a, I'm having a flashback here, guys. I'm having a flashback because this exact very thing happened to me before with this model phone, the Galaxy S7 Edge. This happened to me before. And this is what has happened to it. It did this periodically and then it just kind of started doing it and never stopped. Last night, I was hanging out and I dropped my phone about two feet. It was from the couch and I picked it up and there it goes. So that's awesome. Oh man, I can't figure it out. I think this is like a defect that happens when you drop these particular kinds of phones, they start blinking. You know what the really stupid thing is? Literally two days ago, the day before yesterday, I canceled my insurance for this phone because I was like, eh, I've had it for a while. I'm probably gonna be thinking about replacing it soon. I don't need insurance. So I, I, I canceled my insurance policy for this two days ago. Ah, <sighs> welcome to the vlog, guys. <laughs> I love it when things are organized. Mm, good stuff. These are just some of the uh, brewing devices. This is a scale, not a brewing device. The rest are brewing devices. Actually, no, that's that's a grinder. Never mind. These four are brewing devices, but those are just a few. We're gonna have a ton more different ways of making coffee around here. Today is kind of a short day for me here at the shop. Uh, I just came by to uh, organize a few things. We got rid of uh, a table that was here yesterday with all the painting stuff and we're gonna get rid of this dirty heavy uh, ladder because we just don't need it. Regarding the floor, I forgot to, uh, I forgot to talk about the floor. Uh, a few people mentioned it in the comments. Uh, so as you can see, it looks pretty much the same. I talked to the landlord and he said that it's not necessary to redo the whole thing, which by the way, the landlord is taking care of all this. He did the painting, he did the floors. He's hiring the people to do that. It's his floor, his wall, so, you know, whatever he says. But um, he says that it doesn't need to be redone. They're just gonna patch up the parts that are not that are coming apart. So we'll give it a month or two and if some more parts come come loose, they're gonna clean that those areas and patch it up and hopefully that stays. I have my doubts about this system, but I guess we'll just give it some time and we'll see. I'm tired of waiting, I just wanna move in. So I know that if they're gonna redo the floor, it's gonna take a long time. So I'm um, pros and cons to this whole situation. Right now, I'm gonna head out of here. I'm gonna go over to Max's house and um, we're gonna taste some coffee because yesterday he roasted some samples. We're gonna taste those samples and then decide what, what we want to purchase. What you reading there, man? Oh, um, I'm refreshing myself on the cupping protocol. There is a cupping protocol. There is one, yes. It's a cupping recommendations in this book, but it is the, pro uh, the cupping protocol. We're gonna get our cupping on. Cupping is, I think we've mentioned this a few times. Oh, yeah, we're gonna t taste the coffee that we sample roasted yesterday. So we got, Yep. we did, he, you did, we got three sorts of coffees and you roasted them two different ways. So we yes. got two samples of each coffee. We got two Colombias here and one El Salvador. And I did two roasts of each. We have cupping cups, we bought, we bought special cups for this process and How special spoons. Oh, they're just regular, regular looking cups. They're pretty cool though, I like them. Yeah, they're convenient. They're perfectly sized and there's a whole protocol. Check it out, even in the book they use a similar cup. Yeah, oh. yeah. So there's a whole, the right way of doing it, timing and all that. So that's what we're gonna be up to right now. Uh, your two kids just recently woke up from nap time so it might get a little rowdy in here if it gets, you know, if it gets loud, I hope you guys... It's starting to pick up the noise, so they're 
yeah there. it gets to a crazy point but right now they're not there yet so we're gonna take this time to do the cupping real quick yeah we're gonna there to do something <laughs> while they're yeah but i uh, hope you don't mind Yeah, this is a really good one. I like this creaminess. This one was really creamy. Freaking creamy. I, I think these two right here are my favorite. Yeah. Let's see what this one is. Let's make a Camax out of these two. Okay, after some extensive testing, we zeroed in on two cups. Uh, we had six, three types of beans and two different roasts for each bean, so light and dark. You zero it really in. dark, dark, but it was dark fur. Some of them were kind of dark. Yeah, I overdid it. So we zeroed in on two beans, or actually, yeah, two cups. Uh, both Colombias from different regions, though. One is, lighter and one darker. And one is a natural. Yeah, one's a natural, natural process. So we're going to do a Chemex. Or we're gonna make a Chemex out of those two beans for some more further extensive testing just to make sure that we like them before we decide to purchase them. Mm. Both Colombians. Smell it guys, smell it. Mm -hmm. Yep, smell it. Mm. Mm. Oh, smell it. Yeah. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> smells really good. Yeah, it does. I like it. I like it a lot. There's some screaming in the background, it's whatever. Okay, so you made Chemexes out of the two that we like the most. Dude, I approve. I don't know how I feel about this one. Here, take it, let's switch. I mean, I think this one right here, it's, it's possible to make a better roast out of it. it. Has very good potential. This is delicious. Delicious, I'm telling you, this is all delicious. These both are delicious. In fact, I still like this one more. Uh, Let me try that one. So this was my favorite. Gosh, it's so good. This, was, this my was my favorite on the table in a cupping, and it still is my favorite. It's so good, man. It is that savory. It has that savory, creamy texture. Yeah, you're right. Very good. Let me have the other one. That other one has a little bit more bitterness. I wouldn't say that. No. Well, in that case. Let's agree to disagree. Maybe a little, but it's also got, you keep drinking it because you still have the yeah, other one. Yeah, and it's also warmer. See, that's the thing. This one is a little bit warmer. So. Yeah, it's got to cool down a little bit. But uh, it's it's got that, it's got that like hidden yeah. note. Like it's it's a natural. Mm, man, I like it. It's, it's very balanced actually. That bitterness balances out the acidity and I like it. All right guys, that'll be it for us today. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna 
both of us are gonna head back to the shop. We're gonna do some roasting. We're gonna continue the settling in process. Um, so it should be an interesting day as well tomorrow. And I just wanna thank you guys for all the support um, that you guys have been giving me throughout this process of changing, you know, uh, a lot of positive comments. I really appreciate that. A lot of people asking about if you're gonna be able to order the beans. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have an online web, like a like a site, uh, but it's not ready yet. So as soon as that's done, I'll let you guys know. We'll make a huge video about it. That's obviously gonna be a big deal. But until then, we're just gonna be showing you guys the progress and the process of what we're going through here. So uh, yeah, either way, should be interesting. And uh, I just wanted to say, I'm really glad to be back. I'm glad to be back in the vlogging uh, motions get the vlogging gears rolling again feels good creativity's flowing so thank you guys for that anyways thanks for tuning in and i'll see you guys tomorrow so long